guys welcome back to my channel today is a very special unboxing and i've been waiting a while to share this with you so i'm super excited to get started with this video if you're new here welcome if you have been here welcome back my channel is all about my home right now sharing home decor sharing uh, things that are related to home building since we recently purchased and built a new home. So if you are interested in that, maybe you're in the process of building a home and you're interested in building a home or you're moving and you're just looking for some new inspiration, then I welcome you to join me here at this channel. I would love to hear more from you guys in the comment section on any video, letting me know what you're interested in seeing more of. Now, in today's video, I am going to be unboxing the very famous, if you're on social media at all, Always Pan by Outer Place. Okay, you may not really recognize the company. I feel like the Always Pan name is the most like commonly used. Uh, I didn't really even know that the company name was Our Place until I placed an order. I have had this in the box for longer than I even want to say. I placed this order in 2020 and it didn't come in until February. Obviously it's much later than February, but I wanted to do an unboxing. It's terrible. I have some pans that I already like, so I didn't really miss it from cooking. I am also not a chef, not a chef. Let me just start by saying that. I cook, but not all that often. So that's how I could get away with not unboxing this. At first it was really, really hard because I wanted to test it out, but my life has been so busy and I wanted to make this video that it kind of got tucked away and put aside in one of these mini cabinets down here and I'm just getting to open it now. So I waited obviously a very long time for this to come in and it is still like box and packaging came in really well. I did open it and look at it. I just haven't taken it out yet. So when you open the box, this is what you're gonna see. Welcome to our place. We saved you a seat. That's cute. At our place, we believe the strongest connections are made over a home cooked meal. Now I wanted to buy this pan and if you're not familiar with this, this is a very expensive pan. <laughs> um, it's supposed to do it all like there's a lot of different ways and you can use it and cook in it again I am not like the chef but I want to cook more especially in our new kitchen and I wanted to have some of the best things that will make that a lot easier so I really wanted to invest in this and it also happens to be pretty so um, this pan I'll try to tilt this up it says your everything and always pan right over here and it comes with some things that you might need. So the top's here, and let's pull that out. If you guys have the Always Pan, please let me know how you like it. I mean, I did look at reviews before purchasing it. The price tag on this is normally $145, I believe is the original price. Um, I did pay about 100, it was on sale. I don't know if it's still on sale if, because I did order towards the end of the year and that was during the holidays and it took a couple months to come in. So this is the top of the pan and I got it in this color, which I love. It definitely goes with my kitchen and home and I felt like it would make me more excited to cook with it. I'm trying to remember the name of the color, so I'll put it somewhere on the screen here for you guys if you're interested in this one. Now what it comes with, this, I believe, is the cleaning sponge. Oh yes, it's a natural sponge. And it says, made for scrubbing away at the dishes you left to soak in the sink or soak the sponge in water to activate to get good scrubbing. Okay, so it's gonna basically, it's very thin right now, but it's going to get bigger and it's a natural sponge. Awesome. This little pamphlet right here is going to tell you how you can use the pan. So it can be used for just about anything. Um, steaming, boiling, to rest your spoon on, which I'll demonstrate. Twist the lid, it says. Okay, this part here says twist the lid. See that little arrow embossed onto our lid? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, yeah, right here. So there's a little arrow there that indicates where the opening is for the spatula okay aim the indicator away from the spatula rest which i will show you and then you can pour things out you can slowly steam and it's supposed to be the best i don't know yet guys i haven't cooked on it but 
Um, there's some instructions on before using, you wanna do a hand wash, instructions on how you um, cook with it, and then also cleaning up. So after taking out the top pan, I'm gonna remove this. And then we have the actual pan itself with the little steamer. And then the spatula is over here. This says for anything you need to nudge, flip, fry, or stir. <laughs> and then this is the nesting steamer basket for dumplings, veggies, and more. Okay, so this is the pan. <laughs> Um, I will say that it feels very sturdy. It's not super heavy, but it definitely feels like, you know, solid um, and a good size. It's deep. It's pretty deep, which is the whole point of being able to use it for steaming. So you can just steam your vegetables here, which I love. This was really one of the main reasons I really wanted to get this. So we've got the steamer. This is my first time opening this, obviously, and I've had it for so long. And it's scratched. Can you see that right here? I'm bummed about that. This is a really expensive pan, and I didn't open it for so long. I have no idea. Yeah, that's not exciting. There was no, like, protection with this. It was just sitting in here and it scratched in a few places. Right here, and there's some more over here you can't see so well. Kind of bummed about that. Um, also, I will say, this is hard to see as well. This is like a rubbery material here, but this right here is like painted and I can see the color underneath. It's almost like this is the original color and this is like, feels like spray painted to be honest with you. Hmm. So I'm not really excited about that. Um, really bummed about the scratches. It definitely should have come with like a plastic or something or foam or something to protect that to be such an expensive pan. All right, guys, I'm interrupting myself briefly in this video because I wanted to correct myself. This particular piece I'm holding up right now, I believe, was supposed to come between the actual pan and the steamer that I showed. So I do want to say that it does come with some type of protection. I believe that when I took a peek at my pan and didn't fully unbox it, I may have lifted that up and not put it back the same way. However, I did confirm looking at a few other videos. In fact, the first video I looked at of an unboxing of the same pan, it did come with this piece of paper in between, but they also had the same experience with the pan being scratched. So I do stand by the fact that it does need protection. And although it comes with this cardboard paper, it's not quite enough to really uh, protect the pan from scratching and probably would be a better option if it was foam or something a little bit softer. All right, so pretty simple, I would say. It's pretty basic as far as, I mean, simple utensils. This is the spatula. And on the pan, let me grab this here. This little spot is where the spatula rests. So basically it just fits right into that groove, which is really nice to have it just like right there, even though, I mean, it's very easy to just put your spatula on a spoon rest when you're cooking, but it's just kind of nice to have it right there. Pretty simple stuff overall. Let's get these boxes out of the way. So to recap, again, we've got the steamer, we've got the whole pan itself, which is here. And right now I have it just sitting with the spatula. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there. Um, let me adjust it to where the arrow is. Okay. There we go. So when you put the arrow that's on the lid right where the spatula is, it lays flush. So you can actually close the pan with the spatula, which is nice. Overall, 
It feels nice. I will say the outside, as far as the color, feels a little delicate. This is rubbery. And again, the paint is, or not the paint, but the color, I can kind of see through a little bit. So it's okay there. There's no nicks or anything on the actual pan. Just the inside, like I was telling you, that it came with. So I wanted to give you guys a good overview of what the pan looks like. This is the steaming tray. Very lightweight, fits really nicely into the pan. This is, before I take the lid off, where that arrow is at the very top. That's how you want to place the pan. The inside and the spatula, which places here. If we turn this around, you can see how this fits inside. So it'll give you just enough space here. Very comfortable handle. This is a rubbery material. This is just like the pan, same with this. So this is a caution label because it is hot when cooking. I would definitely recommend keeping this label here because with it being all the same color, it would be easy to confuse the handle being able to be gripped and not being able to grip here without something protecting you. The top of the lid, again, always wanting that arrow to face this side is going to allow you to close it. This is also that same material as here. So this is definitely easy to touch without getting too hot. The only area you need to be cautious of is right on this side. Let's take this off and see how it closes with the spatula. Place that there. Look for the arrow. Set it down. There we go, now it's locked in and the pan is flush. This is also a pouring spout so that you can pour out any excess. And there we go. That is all for the unboxing for today's video. I hope that this was helpful if you were thinking about buying the Always Pan just to get an idea and feel for what it what a $145 pan looks and feels like. Is it worth it to be determined? I will definitely update you guys on how it cooks. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do about the scratches. I'm a little bit of a stickler with that kind of thing, but then again, I am gonna be using it and it probably would get scratched eventually. Um, but just a little disappointing the way that it was packaged that that could happen during the delivery process. But overall, it does feel like a quality pan. I like the functionality thus far. It's pretty true to color of what I was expecting, size, and overall quality. So hopefully it upholds the same way as far as the way that it cooks. Let me know if you have any questions about this particular pan, if you're thinking about getting it, or if you have the same one. Is it just hype? Is it just about color and aesthetic? Or is it really a great cooking tool? We are going to find out. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you did like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know if you guys like these videos and want to see more home decor or even more unboxings and you're interested in seeing more from this home theme that I've got going on right now. I do, I will say that I still consider my channel a lifestyle channel and will continue to share other content in the future. But right now I'm just really into home, everything, and that will always be something that I love and have a passion for. So if you guys want me to continue doing home videos, unboxings, um, leave those comments down below. Be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't yet already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.